Okay, Roger Mudfoss University and I went on a little bit today about Rod Warren's fabulous work with his discovery of the Venturi light accelerator. And I'm going to go into that in a little bit of detail because I just finally discovered something, how the light reforms. Uh, it's a little bit detailed, I'll go into that in a minute, but I, what I did want to say and I don't want to get upset about this, but what really it does upset me. I got to be honest with you. Rod has done su such a fabulous job with this light research, and shown things that light is normally like this. And if that is light, and then this is light, there's no question whatsoever in any known universe that that is not accelerating. That is an acceleration of light. It's an acceleration of light. You can't know human being or any other creature can change that. You can say, oh no, it's not there, that's the flash, this, that. No, 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 no. That is acceleration. Case closed. And it shows the particle that manifests itself that has making this perturbation wave concussing through because they own huge regions around them. Rod has has, has, has shown this in such fabulous ways. And every day I start posting about this or that, about light, you know, and I do it every day, but almost. And the first thing out of these morons' mouth is, oh, 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 just go get your big Nobel Prize, big ego guy, big guy with a big mouth. Well, let's talk, somebody show me that it's, it's wrong. Nobody can do that. Instead, they talk about wormholes and things that are just insane, and then they go get a Nobel Prize for that. Rod Warren has done something that not a human being on the face of this planet can deny. And no one will ever, ever give him any respect for that. Ever. Because he's not in the club. So I'm going to put him in the club. He should be in that club. I'm not in that club. I'm as far away from that club as you can get. And I don't care. Because I don't, you know, I don't really care about it. But because actually, I do care. Let's put it that. Way. Yeah, I do care. I'd like to see this stuff that I'm showing be recognized as reality, and then I'm not a fool. But it's, I'm not locked in as solid. He is. He's got something that you cannot deny. That's like click done. Case Rod's case is closed. My case is still in the courts. And is my atomic theory right? I mean, all my other stuff is closed too. Mud fossil stuff is done. That case is closed. It's all been been anatomy checked and I mean chemistry and um, DNA the whole nine yards. So what we're dealing with is 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 the inability of the ones that teach to learn. All right, not only has Rod accelerated light through the accelerator, it turns it all blurry, globular stuff. When it comes out, it displays as back-to-back -back dipoles, up and down, positive and negatives. It's like a box of a bar magnet, and they spin like crazy. And they, when they do, they polarize fields surrounding them. And he's captured this stuff in exquisite detail. I mean, as that light comes spinning, that box of magnets comes spinning out, it creates these fields surrounding it of plus, plus and minus polarized swishing fields that surround these spinning particles. That, I believe, is an antiparticle. I believe that is spinning backwards. All these little white filaments are what they call bosons, which is a particle that's spinning so fast that it can't interact with the region it's in. It's above that region, and it doesn't react until it smashes into the fabric of space, which you can obviously see has occurred. This one is not throwing electrons out, it's gathering them in. That's a reverse. Rodney and I are the only people in the world who have ever seen this, other than people that have seen it that I've been posting it. That's one of those white particles creating whatever that is from a, or a normal Higgs field. Now, this one here, I super magnified it. And I found the dark particles. Remember when it came in, it was a, a black and white box of magnets. That means there's positive and negative. Well, what happened to the positive? It's all white now. Here they are. They are showing up here. 
You see that? I, I miss this. You see this? You see that? You see the darkness? The darkness is taken over here now. There's a strong force and a weak force. And this, the dark is the positive. And I'm going to show you one last thing. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to go into this in great detail. Now that I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable about finding that missing positiveness. Because I said, when it goes through there, how could I have to turn all white? Before it was white and dark. What happened to the dark? Well, I can see a little bit of darkness out here, like it's radiating back as well. So the, there is the positive and the negative is combined here. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't see any here. So how does it come back together here? I don't know. There's a lot to look at. It's not something that's just, oh, this is just flash and it's nothing. You're an idiot. No. It's time to look at this. And this is what Rod has done. And there's, there's no way that you can dismiss this. Right? There should be some recognition of this. It shouldn't be just, oh, you guys crazy. Just leave him alone. And that's what happened. And I think he turned a little sour on this. And I don't blame him because I did too. That's the kind of stuff you get from every single one. They wear you down. They sand you down like with a, one of those really coarse pieces of sandpaper day after day. <laughs> well, me and Rod, we got some pretty tough skin. So it's time they turn around and look at the reality of what they're seeing. And like I said, it's been three years I've been looking at this. I just saw that. I don't know how I missed it. But it's a, in the original pictures, it just doesn't, I don't know, I just missed it. So anyway, that's what happens. You miss things, you find things later. But if you can't find them and learn from them, then you just missed everything. All right, so, Rod, thank you, my friend. You deserve credit, brother. I want to see that you get it.